I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a method of finding mode from group data. Let me first thank all my subscribers for watching my videos and sending in this very special request for a long time. Now I've taken up example from one of my previous videos where we have found mean mode and median for group data. Actually we found modal class not the mode and therefore in this we'll talk in details the method of finding mode from the group data. The question is how to calculate mode from the group data. We are given marks of students in a class 20 to 30 there are 4 students, 30 to 40 11, 40 to 50 18, 50 to 60 30, 60 to 70 27 and 70 to 80 10 students. Mode as you know is most frequent. When we are dealing with group data we actually first try to find what is the modal class, right? What is the modal class? Now, modal class is the class where we have highest frequency, so, right? So, modal class will have highest frequency. So, in our case, 30 is highest in the frequency. So, the modal class is 50 to 60 correct this frequency we call this as f1 right so we'll call this as f1 f1 is the frequency of modal class now the frequency which is before the modal class we'll call this as f zero which is frequency of class we could call it preceding class right so we'll call class which comes before so class which is preceding we'll also deal with the frequency f2 which is frequency of the class preceding the or following or succeeding the modal class. So we'll call F2 as frequency of class succeeding. I should have written succeeding class and preceding class. Anyway, we'll use this lower limit of modal class. We'll write L for this. Lower limit of modal class. and the class interval. So let me use the symbol H for class interval. Mode is given by the formula. Let me now write down the formula for mode. Mode is equals to L, the lower limit of the modal class, plus frequency of mode class, which is F1 minus frequency of the preceding class, which is, we'll put a symbol F0 for now, divided by 2 times modal class frequency, take away F0 and F2, where F2 is the frequency of succeeding class, right, times H. So that is the formula which you can use to find or calculate the mode. Remember this is just an estimate. So L in our case is what? We can see from here L is 50, right? Let me write down the values here. L is 50. Let's start from here. Frequency for the mode class is 30, correct? F0 frequency before that is 18. The frequency after mode class is 27. The class interval is 70 minus 60 or 60 minus 50, which is 10. Substituting these values and calculating, we should get more, right? So 
will write 50 plus within brackets f1 is 30 take away 18 divided by 2 times 30 right take away 18 and 27 and multiply this by h which is 10 correct so that should give you the answer which is let's write down 50 plus let's use the calculator 30 minus 18 equals to 12 divided by 2 times 30 take away 18 take away 27 that gives us 15 times 10 right so that gives us equal to 50 plus so let's say 120 divided by 15 so it is 120 divided by 15 equals to plus 50 equals to 58 ropes so so this is 8 and that gives us 58 correct so that is how we can calculate the mode from the good group data so we calculated mode for the given data as equal to 58 right so 58 is a value which is close to 60 the higher end now you could also think about that between 50 to 60 we got 30 elements right since 30 is much more than 10 so most of the elements may be lying closer to 60 right so that could be a rough estimate most of the time we just assume that to be centrally located so if you don't want to use the formula then approximately 55 is also acceptable answer right however using this formula we get a value which is useful for multiple choice questions i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps once again thanks a lot for watching my videos posting excellent questions and always keeping me on toes with excellent excellent questions keep sharing and liking my videos thank you and all the best